just going to start off by doing a simple differential expression in dseq2, but you can do this with any different software, even single cell analysis tools, as long as you have a column of gene symbols or names, p values, and log fold changes. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this dseq2 analysis. All right, and if we look at the output from that, we have in symbol IDs, log fold change, and the p-value. In this case, I'm going to be using the p-adjusted value. But first, since I don't want to label my volcano plot with ensemble IDs because I have no idea what these are, I'm first going to convert them to gene symbols. So I'll just go ahead and copy paste this. Um, I'm not going to go into detail here. I have another video that does, but basically these are human ensemble IDs. So I'm converting the ensemble ID to gene symbol and then converting it to a data frame. And now if we look at this, if I scroll over, I now have a new column in the data frame with the gene symbol instead of that ugly ensemble ID. So we can install Enhanced Volcano through the Bioconductor Manager, but I actually had a little bit of trouble installing this. I had to install a couple dependencies manually. I'll just copy and paste those here. Um, so I'm on Ubuntu, so you might or might not have these same issues on your system. But if you go ahead and run this, just scroll through it and see what they want you to install. Actually, I had to install this text shaping package too. But anyways, after you have this installed, let's just go ahead and load it in. And then to make a simple volcano plot, it's really easy. You can just run enhanced volcano, and then we're gonna pass the data frame we made, so res data frame. And then X is gonna be the log fold two changes. And let me just show that data frame again so we can get the column names. So we just need log fold two change values. So we can just copy that here. And then Y, we're gonna use the P adjusted. And then the label is gonna be the symbol, but we can't just pass symbol. We actually have to pass six DF symbol. Oh, sorry, this is res, not sigs. And then let's see how that looks. So if we go ahead and pop that out, we get something like this. And these are the default thresholds for labeling 10 to the negative fifth, and then I think 0.5 log fold to change. We can change these thresholds. Let me just show that real fast. So I'm just going to copy and paste what we already did and then add a few arguments here. That's just slightly different. Let's say we only wanted to label a few select genes. It's pretty simple. First, we just make a list or a vector. And then let's just pick these top two genes here. And then we can just pass this again with a new argument called select label. And then we'll just pass select. I'll just call this selected. And then now we only have those two genes labeled. So I just showed the very basics of Enhanced Volcano here. If you go to their vignette, they actually have a lot of examples with different graphic customizability. But if you just wanted to do a really simple volcano plot, this is a good place to start. 